In this tutorial, I'm going to show you in very a uh, few minutes how to add Alt 2.0 to your application. And I'm going to be using either GitHub or Google. But for now, to make it simpler, let's not stick with GitHub. So this is a basic application. This is my pom.xml with the web dependency added. This index page and this is uh, the, the uh, uh, Spring Boot application file. And this is properties file uh, is empty right now. So if I run this application and I go to the browser, so if I go to the browser, you can see this application right here running at port 8080. So basically nothing, but we want to secure this application using out 2.0. So the first thing we want to do is to add the dependency. To add the dependency, simply go to MVN repository and look for out 2.0 client. So if you search for out 2.0 client, you know there are a whole lot of them, so make no mistake about it. The one you are going to use will be Spring Boot Starter Alt 2.0 client so that you can get auto configuration. So it should be Spring Boot uh, uh, Starter Alt 2.0 client. So copy it right into your pom.xml. So I'm going to just paste it right here and i'm going to save everything i'm going to save files save all stop this application from running and then kind of refresh the maven so that it can re-download uh the the dependency so i'm going to say reload project and everything should be fine so if i rerun this application at this point we should have basic uh security in this application so basically you can see user generated security now so if i go to try to assess this application now it's likely it likely will ask for username and password in this case the username is user and the password is the password we just copied if this has been informative for you please subscribe but we are still moving on now i've added the username and pass, uh, password and i'm able to log in using the basic uh, spring boot security how do we then add out 2.0 uh, security uh, login using single sign-on? And in this case, we want to use GitHub. So the first thing you want to do is go to GitHub. Of course, you need a GitHub account. You need to go to GitHub and create an application. So here is my GitHub. Simply go to settings and from settings, look for, uh, I think you have developer settings here. In your developer settings, you can see GitHub app and simply click on new app. So when you click on new app, I'm going to call it KTG app. So of course, you know, my name is Kainton the Genius and you just give some name, some, some, um, some description here if you want. And you want to put the home page of your application should be this. So this is the home page of our application right here. Now the callback URL is very important and that I'm going to copy from where I have it and simply paste. So if you are using GitHub, the callback URL, URL is going to be this. So it's going to be localhost 8080 login or 2.0 code GitHub. So for Google is a different one for Facebook and we are going to be doing that in a minute after now. For now, I want, it, I want you to be very comfortable doing this yourself, all right? I have post installation, you need to leave it that way and everything should be fine. And if you scroll down, you should be able to see create GitHub app. So once you complete this app creation process, so it says uh, webhook URL, so we can just uncheck this and simply move uh, create. So registration successful, so we can actually generate private keys uh, sorry. Okay. So, um, so the next thing we want to do is to get the client ID and the client secret. So this is the KTG app. So simply go to, to, uh, client ID right here and client secret so where you are, you are going to use it is in your application, the properties file. Now I've, I've added this here so i'm going to simply copy it and then paste and then uh so i don't waste time typing it so in your app the uh, application the properties file you are going to have spring security or 
uh, registration, GitHub client ID, and you're also going to have this time client secret. So client secret is going to be one word and equal to equal to. And here I'm going to go to copy the client ID. So I'm going to copy the client ID and paste it right here. And I'm going to copy the client secret as well and paste it right there. All right, so I'm going to save everything and that is it. So if you, if you come to this point, it's fine. So I'm going to save everything and let's relaunch this application. So I'm going to save all. I'm going to stop and then relaunch. So if I relaunch it at this point, I should be able to log into this application using GitHub. So I'm going back here and I'm going to refresh this page right now. So you can see it tells me uh, KTG app would like permission, blah, 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 and simply authorize. So once you authorize, you are going to be redirected to your homepage. So this is basically how to add Alt 2.0 Login with GitHub and basically using Google and Facebook and every other one is about the same I'm going to be making videos on this and also using uh, JWT so please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and also leave me a, a comment if you have any challenges I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you